So Next.js recently added server actions, but I think that they are a very bad idea. And here's why. All right, to use the new server actions, right, make sure you're on Next.js 13.4 and above, right? And make sure in your next.config.js you have server actions turned to true, right? Which enables it. All right, let's take a look at an example of server actions, right? So over here, we have a very simple server component called home, right? And a list of items, right? Rendered by this items string array here. And a very simple form, okay, with a very simple input text and a button, right? That submits the form which calls the server function, right? The server action, add to item, right? And to use a server action, right? All we have to do is say use server, yeah? So to see how all this works, right? Let's go to the left, right? All the way to the left, okay? To our app which is already running right now. So over here, okay, right now you can see that we have item one and item two. So if we say item three here and we click on add, right, you can see that item three has been added to the list. Yeah. So all this made possible by server actions on a server component. Yeah. Now, the first reason why server actions are a really bad idea is that there are no separation of concerns, yeah? So remember why we move away from frameworks such as PHP and slowly move to component-based frameworks yeah, such as React in the first place many, many years ago. Yeah, so for example, over here, we have this server action, right? Add to item. So imagine this was actually in a custom API handler at the back end. Yeah, so that API endpoint would be able, right? You can reuse that, right, as the backend for maybe say a React Native mobile app. Yeah, but in this case, because over here, this is used as as a server function and in embedded in this server component home, right? It is so tightly coupled that there are no separation of concerns, right? How would you even reuse this? Yeah for your other front-end apps or mobile apps, for example. And that brings us to our second point, okay, which I'm sure you can already see this being an issue, uh, especially when your app or project gets bigger, yeah, as this is not scalable, yeah, long-term wise, yeah. And it is very hard to maintain, especially once you get more Functionality, once you add more features, once you add more use cases for your apps, right? Not just app, but apps, yeah? You can't reuse it, yeah? It is not scalable in the long run, yeah? So this is not even talking about the differences in frameworks and whatnot. This is just a very core fundamental, right? In designing your code and writing code yeah it goes way deeper as comparing things like php versus this yeah all right and now for a very fun reason as to why you shouldn't use server actions at least for now right so over here i've created another page.tsx in a folder called dashboard and as you can see we have almost the same server action here yeah, but we have something additional. Okay, we have, for example, this get secret async function that for now just returns a plain text type of password. Yeah. And we are just going to do a simple string concatenation. Yeah. With this secret key that we have gotten from this get secret function. And we are doing this in our server action right watch what happens right uh, so let's go to the browser yeah okay and over here so watch what happens if say for example 
I put in item four, and if we add, all right, so item four gets added to the list. Okay, but look all the way to the right in our inspector, right? You can see okay, we have a request and in payload. Yeah, obviously this is a post method, but in payload, oh, what is that? Oh, do you see this? Do we have a secret password leak here? Oh, why is this exposed here? Yeah, so you can see that right now, server actions, if you do not use them carefully, right, it does pose a security risk yeah so be careful at least for now when you are using server actions yeah of course i don't recommend you to do so yeah so in general i really do think that server actions are bad idea and you shouldn't use them right at least for now yeah until maybe things have changed for the better yeah and it seems like the team or the leadership team or whoever is calling the shots at over at Versail, right? When they were brainstorming, right? What features to enhance or add to next JS? The team were like, "Oh sh, oh, what do we do? What do we do?" Yeah, it seems like they ran out of things to improve or enhance. Yeah, next JS. Yeah, and all they came up with was server actions, uh, which seems like back tracking our progress over the many many past few years yeah so what do you think uh, do you agree or disagree with my perspective on server actions right let us know in the comments below and then as always right remember to like and subscribe and stay awesome and stay safe as always just man